how does one know there is a leak so let's have a program which simulates a leak and then i can show you how to detect or how, how to make sure that a pro this application is indeed causing a leak so let me open task manager and let's go to details so i need to be careful because this is a program that i made to leak on the heap uh, that means it will allocate in a loop and it will not deallocate. So very soon uh, it can eat up all the memory of my heap. So I need to shut down the process as soon as my, you know, the motive of my demo is over. Continuous leak is my sample program. And as soon as I run it, what I see is uh, the active private working set increases real fast so this was a quick indicator that you can see the memory which is i'll run it again the memory which the process is occupying i've sorted this uh, you know on high to low and of course you can do the opposite like this so this is sorted and you, you see that memory is increasing real fast Right. A memory which goes increasing real fast, that's an indication of memory leak. This is one. Another way is running Perfmon, uh, looking at the private bytes of the process. And this one gives a graph too, so it's pretty interesting. So what you do is you launch Perfmon like I did. You remove the other counters. You add the process counter. There's a specific process counter. These are, you know, all these uh, 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 counters inside the process, uh, you know, process category. But there's an instance too, you see, and I want my instance to come. So how will that come? When the process is running, right? So now if you see, uh, continuous leak is not there because it's not running and I need to go out and add again after I've started because you know that's the way it'll refresh it I don't know any other way it'll refresh the list of you know tasks here or applications here so let me quickly run this and as fast as I can let me go to the process counter and I'll open this up, go to private bytes, look for continuous leak. Yeah, we have that now. Do add, do OK. Click on it. Make sure you do scale selected counters. And here you see, look at the way it goes linearly. Uh, scale selected counters. So, as and when you scale, you see that you know it brings the graph more into perspective. It basically increases the the x and y axis scope, right? So, and you can see the graph better. So we're seeing we're roughly maybe I don't know we're running towards 20 meg, right? So let me kill it. Yeah. As soon as I kill, you see the graph has come down. So. This linearity of the graph is a perfect indication that there has been a leak because, uh, let me scale again. So, so that's the best scale we can have because it always grows, right? And it never comes down. You see, when I kill the process, all the heap is freed. And that's the only time this has come down, right? And we know that from here till here, it was just leaking memory continuously, right? So a linear graph is like this, and it, and better if it's more steeper, right? A steep linear graph is an indication that there is memory leak.